Hello and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will draw the PCL from StudCAD CAM site as a practical exercise in FreeCAD. So now we go to FreeCAD and what to do in the start page is to click in this icon here to create a new document. And now we select Part Design Workbench. Okay, and here create broadly and new sketch in XY plane. Okay. And what we'll do in this sketch here is to draw this rectangle here. So we come back to the sketch workbench and we select this rounded rectangle tool. Draw this rectangle and now select this metal constraint and select these two points here. And now this origin point. Okay, so now this rectangle is constrained to this origin point. And next what we'll do is to set the dimension for this arc here and these lines here. So we go to this drawing page and here we see this dimension we have we have this diameter to this arc here and we have this vertical dimension here. So here we go to we go to sketch workbench and we select this vertical distance tool, click in this two points and here we'll set 61.2 millimeters okay and the range for this arc here will be the half of this dimension here so select this constraint here and here we set 19.2 and okay and we have this and next here we'll set the horizontal dimension we have here seventh we have this dimension here so we select this horizontal distance tool click in this point here and now this point and now set the dimension okay and leave this sketch press home and go to this pad tool and here we'll set the link to 7.8 we see here so we change here to this dimension and now click OK. And next here to create these four walls here, what to do is to select this face. Select this face here and go to wall tool. And here we'll set the diameter for the cycles. We have here 9.6. So we change here, we go to wall parameters and we change this dimension here to 9.6 and now click OK. OK and next here what we want to do is to create this part here. To do that we go to additive filters and here we select additive cylinder. OK and here we'll change the parameters of the cylinder here. And we select as reference this X Y plane, okay. And next here we see this dimension for the length of the cylinder, and we have this radius here, 22.5. So we change here to 22.5, and here to 45, and now click OK. And next we will create this part here. Okay, to do this, we select this face and create a new sketch. And now select this arc tool, click in this origin point, and now this horizontal line, and click here again. And now select this line tool and connect these two points. And here in this drink page, we see the reason for the arc. We have here 19.2 millimeters. So we select this constraint here and we set the dimension here to 19.2 millimeters and now leave this sketch. Go to pad tool and check this reverse set option and now here in the type we set up to face. And here we select this face here and now click OK. So now we have this part in this way and next what to do is to create this part here. Okay, so here what to do is to create a new sketch. 
the schedule greeting at the plane. Switch to section view and next select this tool here and extra this edge and now this edge and now select this polling tool click in this point here and draw this sketch here okay and next what to do is to select this tool here and create a point in this line here escape and next we select these two points here and select this vertical constraint okay and here we can see the dimension for this line here we have 14 okay so we select this vertical distance tool click in this point and now this point here and we set 14 okay and next we leave the sketch here and we go to pad tool check this option symmetric to plane and now we see we see the length of the pad we we see here 6.3 so we change here and now okay so now we have this part here and next we go to model and select this pad operation here and we go to mirror and now we click okay okay and and next what we'll do is to create this pocket here this pocket and this pocket so here we go we go to this model and we select this face here and we create a new sketch okay select this select here select the rectangle tool and draw these rectangles here okay and next we select this centered rectangle tool click in this vertical line and draw this rectangle okay and next select this rectangle tool again and draw this rectangle and now select this arc tool click in this origin point and now draw this arc in this way and next select this trim tool and trim this line here okay now select this equal constraint and make this line equal to this line here and okay next we select this constraint here we make these two points horizontal constraint and these two points okay and next here what to do is to set the dimension for this sketch here so okay here we see this dimension for this pocket here so what we do is to select this external geometry tool and we extract this edge here and next select this vertical distance tool click in this point here and this point and we set the dimension here and next the the length of this line here is okay we see here is 9.6 so select this horizontal distance tool and set here to 9.6 okay and here we see this dimension the 2.1 so we select this line here and we set it to 2.1 okay and the range of this cycle here, of this arc here is 9.6 so we select this constraint here and we set 9.6 millimeters okay and here we have this distance 2.7 so what to do is to select this vertical distance tool click on this point and now this origin point and we set 2.7 okay and now select this constraint here and make this line horizontal okay and and next here we see these dimensions the 2.1 and the 16.2 millimeters so what to do is to 
select this vertical distance tool select this point here and now this point and here we'll set 16.2 millimeters 16 okay and next we we'll select this horizontal distance tool and you'll we'll set this dimension here to 2.1 so what to do here is to select these two points here of these two rectangles and set to 2.1 millimeters and now select this symmetric constraint and we make these two points symmetric to this vertical line okay and now leave this sketch and we go to pocket tool and here we set it up to throw goal. Okay. And now click OK. And next here we create a new sketch in YZ plane. Okay. What you'll do here is to, is to draw a cycle. So select this tool here and draw this cycle here. Okay. And the diameter of this cycle is 6.3. We set 6.3 millimeters and next we select this tool here and extra this edge okay and select this vertical distance tool and the distance here will be the half of this distance so we select this point and now this point and you will set 16.2 okay and now leave this sketch and go to pocket tool Check these options, smart to plane, and now here we set throw goal, and click OK. And now what is missing is to create this wall here. So to do this, we go to we go to these features here, and and here we select the cylinder here, and we set the radius here to the half of this dimension here so we set 19.2 okay and the height here we can set 100 and we'll select the xy plane okay and now click okay so now we have this piece in this way so it's all so thank you for watching this video